back for some Witcher Wild Hunt today. We are going to do the um, Lord of Undvik and also Cirrus quest. I'm gonna try to do both. You guys told me that I could do them in whatever order and it wouldn't make a difference, thank god. <laughs> so I will do both and then we'll see what happens. But yeah, that, that's gonna be a fun episode. I, I love Skellige so I'm always looking forward to more quests in, in that city. It's amazing. So yeah, let's get right into it. I, I see, see you gather before, before me. Hungry, hungry terrified. terrified. Clutching your veins to your breast. I can't get enough of that intro, to be honest. Join the that makes me think. You guys told me that I can gain back my coin from the captain. So Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Crate. We will try to do that between the two quests. I will try to remember. Maybe I can put a, a marker or something. Oh, it's snowing! That's so cute. That is not what I wanted to do. Um, let me see. Was uh, here? Yeah, it was here. We will place a marker and then we'll just go back between the two quests because now I have also like teleportation that I can use for the second quest so it should be easy to get around I mean. So yeah, let's go. Got me eye on you. Got me eye on you. How are you guys doing today? I am super good personally. Oh my god, I'm sorry I didn't mean to. <laughs> I am playing Elden Ring at the moment, so I use the action button, which is triangle in that game. And that is why I am throwing punches. It's all good. <laughs> okay, can I ask the barber about Cyrus? What can I do for you, traveler? Can you trim my hair? Way it is now, it gets in my eyes. It doesn't. It really doesn't, though. He does it outside. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, actually. So I like that. Okay. Who shall we ask? You? Who's that? You? Hey, yeah. <laughs> ask around in the village for Cyrus. Ah, damn the dogs. You don't look like one to haggle. Ah. I am one to play cards though. Alright, it's been a while, it's been a while. Oh, we go all in. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. The glasses though. Okay. I really want the Dandelion. I want that. Poor fucking infantry. I can't never I can never see it and not say it, you know what I mean? It's like I can't. <laughs> I have to say it. <laughs> Let me see what we have. Okay, that's not bad. I feel like I should have... I should give this one... And maybe one of those. I know I can stack them up. But having the three of them at the same time is pretty rare. So I could have this. Uh. Yeah. Okay. No, I think we'll, we will start. Yep. Mm, we got Dijkstra as a traitor. Nice. That is very cool. Okay. Um, I think clear weather, maybe? Or a torrential rain. Mm. 
Mm. Ooh! Yes, 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 I like this. It's okay, I don't have weather cards, but it's okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, let's put this. Just to see what they're gonna do. If I'm losing, I can use the extra. But I like... The first round, I like when they do this. Just pass all your good cards, you know? Like, pass them, please. And then I use a, a traitor. <laughs> a spy. And it's better than, you know? So I think I use one of these. Just to make them play. Yes. Like, that's very good, you know? It's crazy good. So obviously I'm gonna let them win. Passed? Okay. I could win, but do I want to? I don't think I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You're gonna give me two cards. And... Uh, not happy about it. <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Um, okay. Let's pass. Wait, can I? No. Swab it a card on the battlefield, read it into your hand. I mean, sure. Unless they use a, a spy, maybe I could use. Okay, no, I'll, I'll use this. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's pass. It's okay. Opponent's turn. Let's go. Okay. Oh, fuck. How do they have Dextra as well? From my pile? <laughs> Ranged. Yeah. Impenetrable fog. Okay. Of course you do. That's fine, though. That's fine. It's okay. Jesus. I'm stressed. Oh. Good lord. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's so good. I want a Scorch. I don't have one. Like, for real, though. I won't have any cards left, though. Let's use one, right? Yes. I think I'm gonna stop here. Pass. I would be very unlucky if they have better... Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, I'm okay. Oh, no. I'm not okay! So unlucky though! Uh, they have a way better deck than I do. What the fuck? Damn, the dogs. You don't look like one to haggle. Damn! Don't know that I'm gonna oh no, I wanted to put 10. Sure Shit. Can I get out of the game or will I lose? For fate? Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> 
Okay. I don't even oh my god I have nothing I have I have dandelion that's it how am I gonna win this clear weather but it, it's fine I don't care to lose this one yes please use still want him to use a little bit so we'll put this here and I'm gonna pass after that's crazy it's so good I kind of want to continue though Nah, it's okay. Okay. Damn. Alrighty. I put all my things that I re- oh! Okay, cool. Maybe they clear weather? I don't know! They don't have much though. They don't have much. I'm stressed. I need to use dandelion. Nice. Okay. Great. That's amazing. Like, yes, it is strategic, but there's a lot of luck involved in this game. That is what I wanted. I wanted them to use the Scorch. Thank you. I hope they don't have another one. I don't think they do. Now I'm gonna win. For sure. Sure, you passed. You don't have any other choice. <laughs> yes, bitch! lucky though it, it there's a lot of luck involved i feel like and also knowing your opponent's deck helps a lot like the first time around when you lose at least you learned a little bit what they have even though it can be completely different the time after but at least you learned okay who do i ask though that's the question i arrived from here okay what is it okay cool I just forgot everything. Um, can I really talk to them? Well, what is it? I'm looking for Ceres. Oh, that could be uh, that could be nice. What brings it to me? <laughs> like to look at your goods. Wouldn't mind a look at your wear. 
Let me just see what you have. Level 20. Oh, I'm level 19. Okay, that's not bad, actually. What is this? Junk. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can craft. All right. Can I sell? Yeah, maybe this... This one? Some boots... Tracker... Tracker... That is so ugly. And that is so ugly. Ew. <laughs> okay, these are like the same. Well, they were not, but they look the same anyway. Okay. Sorry about that. Farewell, good hunter. Farewell. <laughs> Sorry. I'm mixing games. <laughs> okay. Who knows where Cirrus has been? Can anybody tell me? Oh, you had you heard what? You heard the something. Nary a soul for months, then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler, hungry. Oh yeah. I am actually. Looking for Sarah. Sorry for my dog going crazy right now. Yeah, you found her, or near to. Last was just here. You wish you might have gone. Took an interest in our yarn. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Big Thora and Eirik. Oh, I already Looking said that. Saris, Yarlung. I'm Dad, sorry. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our yacht. Who are Berg Thora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Big Thora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. The east end of the village. Okay. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Saris when you see her. Bless you. What about you? What the hell will you do? Join the Yarl's crew. Sorry to interrupt. You need something. Need Come, something? Let's have a pint of that shot. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm short on time. <laughs> Looking for a girl named Saris. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Okay. East. Take care. Of the village. Could you tell a trout from a oh, there is someone else here that I could talk to. Oh, I could have married a continental man. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. You say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. No, no, no. There's Bea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, what? Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. <laughs> Though, there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face. If not for that bit of bone rod on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think. Well, none of these lasses are really appealing. Oh my god. I'm looking for Sarah. Superficial. Thing. Lovely doe eyes, oh. true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father. Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Iria. Me man. I love it. Beach, the other side of the aisle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Thank you. Find Eric. Hey Eric. Me man. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. No problem. 
Ow. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> I forgot. Level 20! Fucking new dabbler! Swarming like gulls around the way, safe. Are you hating? We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning, you'd be herring bit about now. Uh-huh. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? I'm sorry. You march around the country singing in your praises. No, just tell me where <laughs> Like then the lion. <laughs> must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils, but that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. <laughs> Think for a minute. If not for the Jarl, would I know to look for her here? Ah, oh, right. So it's like the Jarl himself sent you. Should have said so at the start. Just about our young. He's a little bit daft. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Yonder on the hill. I'm sorry. Okay. Let go. <laughs> what was that? Love it. All right. Wait, I should probably, um, now that we're in front, I should probably use these. Are you okay? Get away, oh my god. Okay. We have been enhanced. We are ready for a fight. <laughs> we're just looking for Sarahs, but we're ready for a fight. <laughs> I love the mountains like that. It's a pain in the ass with Geralt and Roach though, <laughs> with the gameplay. It's a little bit of a pain, but if you follow the path, it's fine. I just, I don't follow the path. That's why I have a hard time, I Let's think. Go. Damn. Okay. Yes. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Okay, what is that exactly? Ooh. Let's loot. Before saving Ceres, I'm guessing. Key to the cellar! That's great. Ugh, the fucking sounds. Oh! Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. Yeah. At least she's not dead. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Ulrich. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brokvar, the ancestral sword of Uderic's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Uderic. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Uderic and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Uderic. But his father gave Brokvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Mm. Serious enough for Uderic to break a sacred law here in Skellige. 
He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Uderic to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Uderic had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Uderic kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelric right now, powerfully so, and it could I have love something to do accent. with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelric's the chosen one, the one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Mm. I don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. Jesus. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. Schizophrenia, I maybe? I don't know. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. She's gonna do it anyway, I think. She's not gonna wait. For sure. For sure. Find the sword. Okay. Loot. Okay, I have a key to the cellar. So maybe the ladder. Okay, that was useless. Ow. The fuck? <laughs> I'm uh, confused. Oof, I almost fell. Winds ah. howling. Hard that beach. Torches. That's it. There's nothing there. The wind's howling. We know Geralt. <laughs> Geralt. We know. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. I didn't see that before. Unlocked. Oh, I was afraid of dying. Wait. I need... Wait. Can't I change that? I need... I need a torch. And I know I have one. I have four, actually. I just picked them up. Torch.
There we go. Huh? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna get attacked. Whoa, what was that? What is this about? Uh huh. <sighs> Scared. I don't like him. Uh, let's leave this place. So, did you find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. We're not doing anything with the uh, him. You and my dog. Him? You were mates once, right? Oh, we still are. But well, I heard you fell out over something or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. Mm. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe uh it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. <laughs> she is funny. She... Well, she's loyal, I guess. And... She's beautiful, obviously. She has something about her, you know? I love the sarcasm, I love... I don't know. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Mm -hmm. Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Oh, there's a baby. Right, right out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> okay, oh, that's the okay. I, I get it now. Remember. He's tortured mentally. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Yarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige, and the chummier you are, the it's greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. Ooh. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. That's I, a good plan. I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I, the gods will be angry. Angry you want to make peace with your brother? Are the gods of Skellige that cruel? They are that just. Justice demands you return to the dead what is rightly theirs. Such a good play by Geralt. Oh. Cutie. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Olula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. His Surely nose is something else. This. Well, I just maybe noticed. I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? I, our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Mm-hmm. Okay. We serve her. But yeah, that was interesting that Geralt 
took the the religion, like the gods, to make him do what he want wants him to do. Because I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with gods, actually. Oh lord. Also, I was recommended uh, some witcher gear. I thought I wasn't high leveled enough, but I guess now that I'm 20, I am. And someone recommended the Ursin. I don't know if that's how you say. Um, because I think it's in Skellige or something. So we can look at that maybe next episode. Get some good gear. Even though, honestly... This is not the hardest game. I should have put it on the harder mode, I think, because it's really not very challenging at all at this level. I don't know what uh, I'm at. Uh, enemy upscaling, what does that mean? Story and sword. Like blood, blood and broken bone bones could be good, I think. I should probably... Yeah. I can save, maybe. And then maybe they will... Wait. Eee. I think I'm gonna have to restart. Oh, we had... Okay. Okay, it just changed like that. Uh, okay. Ew. Yeah, I think this is gonna be better a little bit. I don't know. I think they hurt me more. Don't they? Upscaling? I should look into that. Take this call. The crooked mass marks the spot, but not just any fool can find the treasure. I have a... is it far? Can I have a boat? Oh, it's not far. Okay. Let's just... Must be let's just go. can hear them. So there is a treasure near the crooked nest. I I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. They're always like hi. <laughs> Not really dead. Isn't that a crooked mast? Does it point in the direction of treasure? I don't know. Oh, 
Get away. Go away. No, no, no. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Do not kill. Can we? Can we please? Reach. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah! Wait, wasn't that where I arrived? I feel like it's super similar. But I guess it it it's not. Cuz I'm on another island. Oui! Oui! I should spend my point. I didn't think. Uh Four. Oh my goodness. Muscle memory. Oh, this one. Someone told me that this was very good, I think. Well, so I have to spend more points in there. Don't do it. What is this? Like the voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Okay. What did the gods want exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said. You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. I think it's just guilt. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. Ooh. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. Okay. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. <sighs> I returned the sword. Here's a hint. Changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. It's his own reflection. Well, know what it is? It's a Heim. A mm -hmm. post-conjunction creature. Heim? Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. 
It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes forced their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work, in theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Himes' lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. Mm. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Why? It might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. Mm -hmm. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The okay. Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work... If either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think What's of your fucking anything, problem? we can always try the Witcher's Way. Yeah! What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. What? That's so sexist. What the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? Nah. <laughs> my name's not Yennefer. No one will call you henpecked for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good I don't trick, like her anymore. <laughs> Fine, let's try to trick the Heim. No! Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay. I still like her, but she is a little bitch. Oh. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's so not true. Fuck you. I'm gonna look around. Don't need your ass. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not, to, not gonna lie. Oh. That's Siri. Siri. Oh, they're doing no, the guilty thing. It's, it's the guilt Damn. guilt thing. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Oh, it's a demon doing that. Oh lord. Shattered. Little Rick must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. Hmm. Cradle. Must have 
belong to Udal Rikaraki. Geralt, come! <gasps> Think I've got an idea! Wait. Geralt! Uh huh. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. You're asking me to put my life at risk. Udelric's life at risk. I can't do that. I prefer Witcher's methods, tried and true. I see. If something were to go wrong, it's true. So be it. Let's get Udelric. But you'll have to tell him what this Witcher's method's about. No reason to wait. I know I should have probably trust her, but I don't know her. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure. No, 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 no! It'll never end! I know what haunts you, whispers in your ear, commands you to hurt yourself. It's neither the gods nor your brother. But I hear it. Clear as a bell. The voice speaks. The voice is that of a Heim. The creature feeds on the guilt you feel for not helping Aki. Good news is we can defeat it. And the bad? We gotta survive a night in its lair. Your old house. No, no, no. That'll end badly. It can't end well. I can feel it. There's no sense in going if you don't stay calm. Jarl, the Witcher is right. He specializes in such matters. He's your only chance. I'm scared he's gonna die because of me. We prepare the house first. Light some torches in the main room. Make sure they illuminate every nook and cranny. And then? Then you just need to show up. I'll take care of the rest. Fear not, Jarl. We'll tend to everything. You should rest in the interim. Good idea. Meantime, I'll place the torches. Hmm, did I make a bad decision? I know she's not stupid, Ceres, but like... I don't know her that much, you know? That's the thing. <laughs> what are you doing there? Baby! So now that I got like seven torches, we should be fine. Go, go. Oh, I can't Whoa, pass there, here, Roach. I think. Stay here, Rochi. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's put one here. And then... Not here? Oh, one here. Oh, here and here, okay. Can I eat me? No. So, ready? A Skelliger's always ready. To defeat his foes or fall in battle trying. Let's Only go! To fall to Dale be the Heim. Need I prepare? What will happen? I'll light the torches in the main room. That and your presence will enrage the Heim eventually. It'll show. That'll be my chance to hurt it. And me? What am I to do? Just hold out. It'll whisper to you, tell you to do things. Could be more intense than usual. Definitely won't try to kill you, though. I'll keep it together. I'll try. That's great. But if it's not enough, if the Heim starts to get to you, I'll use a sign that'll calm you down. So be it. Axie. Yes. I'm ready. Let's start. I'm ready and he will not die. We'll be okay. Drag you into guilt. Pray to your gods, I'm not wrong. 
We're not, Geralt. We're okay. I believe in us. Maybe I should read... I have the bestiary. I probably have hymns somewhere. Hymns. Vernoble against moon dust, specter oil, and igni. Okay, moon dust and specter oil. Do I have that? Can I make that? Crafting. Can we craft the potions right now? Alchemy, we're on the right track, baby. Oh, I don't have, I don't have that. Okay, and what about moon dust? Oh, I don't think I have that either. Oh well, we don't really need, I guess. not like we're gonna super die because we don't have those. Okay. And Igni. <gasps> oh! Oh yeah yeah! Ow. Lord, okay, that hurt. <gasps> Why? No, no, I can't see. No, 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 no. You're okay. Feeling I'd need the axe. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. 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 Calm down. Oh. You can do this. Now get back behind the torches. I'm not armed. Hey. <laughs> Ow. Seller. Into, into the ground. Must have weakened it enough so it hid deep within its lair in the guts of the house. Listen carefully. 
I gotta go downstairs, finish off the Heim before it regenerates. <gasps> Don't move. It can regenerate? Wait, let me put a, a little bit of Axie on him before I go. I can't. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. I need this. Hey! Hey! Oh, it regenerated a little bit. It did. It did. Whoa. What? I Oh my god. We got it. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's not dead, please. Oh no. I should have. It's over. Should have. But the. Oh, okay. Over. He's okay. Oh, Lord. I killed the Heim. You're free. Let's get out of here. And he's not dead. Well? Oh! <gasps> it worked. It worked! What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. He's gonna puke. You said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I hope he'll be fine. I'm not sure. He's like shock in shock. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. Is she jealous or something? Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. Gee. To you too. So long. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh. Okay. Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Hmm. Farewell. Interesting. Slow now. Get away! Let's go! Oh my god, I'm stuck everywhere. Okay. Faster. Okay, so we we did Sirius's quest. That's good. I yeah, I think I'm do I have time to finish the other one? You maybe. Slow now. Maybe because we already started it, so we might be fine to finish it. <laughs> and we'll go for the, the coin another time, I think. Or I go for the coin now and I do the other quest another time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go try to see if the coin is still there. It was here. Let's try and see if I can still 
um, gain back my thousand coins. Or nah. I'm just gonna change the, uh, I'm sorry, the quest. Because I want this one. Gwent Skellige style. And you guys told me that I should do an eye for an eye, Redania's most wanted. I really want to do a Swords and Dumpling, but I'm level 20. And a deadly plot. You guys told me that I should do them. So maybe next episode we can start like going around Novigrad again. <laughs> Uh, and do those because I'll be way too OP. My level is way too high. And you guys said that when I'll finish Skellige, which you you said that it was a short, short main story, main quests. Um, and after that, you're kind of locked out of of the secondary quests that are. An eye for an eye, and most wanted, and daily plot. So I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, all right, <laughs> you know. So maybe I should, I should do that before we finish Skellige. But usually, don't they tell you like when you do, when you start a quest that will lock out other quests? Usually they tell you, like, hmm, are you sure you want to do this, you know? Kinda. Where are you going? Ugh. It's full of drowners now. Let's take the place of power first. Because why not? Oh, I can't. Okay. Ew. Oh no, hate. Hate. Oh no, hate. I hate the water hags. Ugh. They're so annoying. Oh, it's not as bad as before. <laughs> before they were the hardest enemies ever. <laughs> Goddamn. So you guys said there was a chest somewhere behind Ooh. and there was like the another chest the captain's corpse that's not a captain behind the ship there maybe how do you like that sir? I really did look though and I couldn't find it at all. I didn't come here though. I do not see. Maybe it's not there anymore. Making sure. I think I, I I fucked it up probably. Okay, I didn't expect that. Thank you. Okay. That's not the captain, no. No. Ah, I don't know, guys. I've never found it.
Oh, what was that? I don't even know. A crossbow! My god, that's very good. Okay, yeah, I missed a lot of stuff. <laughs> what the fuck? can't find it I love the music it's so good place of power should draw from it yeah maybe it's gone I'm too late Yeah, I really don't know, so Siren Den. Yeah, but gotta ruin it for them. I already did that though. How am I doing it again? Okay, why not? I'm so confused, guys. Am I go? Am I crazy? Like, am I? I don't see it, or I think it's just gone. To be honest, it's it's just it's over. I lost my thousand. Sorry. All right. It took everything, like... It's in the water... Is there new things, like, every second? And I have new, uh, new stuff. That is actually not bad. 99 and 100 and... Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Critical hit damage, chance to stun, bonus gold. I could put... Adrenaline point, chance to freeze, chance to stun. Armor piercing is always good. And another chance to stun, maybe. Yeah, so I think that's pretty good. Now we have 5% chance of stun. Plus 2, plus 2. Not bad. Almost ten percent. Okay. It needs to be repaired. Eighty one is not bad. Okay. Alright. Well, makes me really sad, but I mean, I. Clearly, it's gone. Ah! I killed it one shot. What do you mean? That's insane. K 
Okay. We are done here. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay, it's the it's the boat. Okay. So Next episode, we're gonna do Lord of uh, Unvik. Unvik. Um, I need to go make Not dinner, so, fast, so I can't. I can do it now. Let's meditate, as always. You know what I like as well in Skellige. Most like everyone is friendly. There is no one that is after you, like, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. You know? Everyone is friendly. Everyone around is just, hi, yo, welcome in. I think that's so cool. Like, Novigrad was not like that at all. It's very different. But I like Skellige. I know I've said it a thousand times, but I will continue saying it. It is an amazing place. So, I could teleport already since... I mean, I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna teleport now and then next episode will already be at the right place. I think Abandoned Village would be the best choice. With the giant and stuff. This quest is so interesting. Hey, Fallen. Know the Isle well? I've never been here before. In fact, no. no I, I, I. Let's get going. I'm sorry. I. I need to go. I can't. There we go. All right. So that's it for today, guys. That was a fun quest i like um demon stuff and things like that and i saw heim written when we were in the cellar and i was like what is that and we saw like a shape and i was like oh that seems scary it was it was a little bit spooky and i don't hate that so it was a, it was a fun quest i liked it and it's a secondary quest so there are a lot of secondary quests that i actually like maybe more even than main quests it's very interesting so that makes me feel stressed a little bit because I am so scared of not doing some quests and then... Well, ignorance is bliss, I guess. I don't know what I'm missing if I don't do them, but I don't want to miss something super good, you know what I mean? So, And at the same time, I don't want to do all the quests and all the contracts. I'm sorry, but it's so so much it is so much content in one game which is amazing if you have hours and hours on end to put in it amazing you know but it's just so overwhelming for me personally it is very overwhelming this game when i open up the map and i see interrogation points everywhere contracts side quests like I feel like you could play this game for 50 hours or a thousand. It's like the range is insane. And for me, it's not the best because I feel stressed when I see that. With Red Dead Redemption 2, it was different. For some reason. Even though it's really it's a really big game as well. I don't know. I don't know why with Red Dead Redemption 2, it didn't overwhelm me as much as witcher i had i would i would have to think about that like think about why that is but in the witcher i don't feel like doing all the contracts i i, I want to do a couple obviously but it's it's so much you know it's <laughs> oh my god i think it's because i'm filming and you know playing on by yourself is really not the same as doing this as filming and posting it on youtube and stuff because when you play, you have to obviously pay attention to the story, pay attention to the gameplay, especially when you play multiple games at the same time like me, like you, you're all confused. 
you have to entertain a little you you know you have to think out loud it's so many spheres of your brain that are activating and like i think a lot of people underestimate the energy that it takes to do this i'm not saying that it's the the worst thing and like it's amazing to be doing this it's a wonderful hobby and even job you know like i'm, I'm not shitting on that it's just i'm just saying that it's way more tiring than it seems i think if you're a content creator, you know already, but if you're not, maybe you don't realize it, but it's very tiring and you can, at least me, I can feel very easily overwhelmed um, in that in that sense. So I think if I played on my own, it would be different, but playing it for YouTube, you know, having to pay attention to everything, because if I don't pay attention, if I, you know, if I forget about something or, or something like that, some of you are like what the fuck you forgot about this and you know you're watching and and you know the game inside out most of you know the game inside out you know and i don't want to disappoint you guys so it's very stressful sometimes not super stressful but i would say more like overwhelming yeah overwhelming is really the, the word so that's why i'm i will not do all the contracts i will not do all the side quests but I appreciate that you guys tell me which one you think are the most important, which one are really well written. That is something that is really good for me. If you want to say that in the comments, please do. If you want to tell me, like you said, an eye for an eye, Redaven's most wanted, like that kind of quest you told me, like you really should do it, like it's important. And even if it's secondary quest, you should still do them. That I appreciate that a lot because it's hard for me to know which one is the best and and most important when i don't know the game right as a first playthrough so anyway i'm rambling but um yeah it's when i look at the map i'm like holy shit and even though i like the game i love the game it's overwhelming a little yeah so i'm sorry if i let you down on some quests if you like like a couple of quests and i end up not doing them i'm very sorry about that but i i'm just human and you know i want to play something else as well witcher is amazing but you know i'm i've al almost been playing it for like eight months or more <laughs> like it's very long time so sometimes you want to change things up so I'm, i don't want to last it another year is what i mean so yeah anyway um but yeah today was really really fun i love skellige i'm in love with skellige so that really helps like novigrad was I was tired of being there. Even though the quests were really super interesting, but the vibe though, oh my god. Like, Jesus. So, I'm really happy to be in Scale again. Like, that's super fun. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!